So a bit about, um, well, let me start off by say, hello, internet friends. I get this from a, a website that I, um, I subscribe to, uh, her, well, she goes by the name of Really Graceful. That's the thing, I'll put the, the link in. <coughs> I was listening, to when, when I do these things, you know, sometimes I say, oh, you're not very well researched. Well, I am very well researched, but the thing is, um, there's so much research, there's so much stuff that's on the internet. Uh, that people are doing some very incredible jobs for research and stuff like that. I just hint at things and let people feel in the back and do your own research kind of things. Yeah, you know, graceful, she's really graceful is a site that I really like. The Corbett Report is another site. That, there's a lot of research. There's a lot of these atheist sites. There's a bunch of people that do um, a lot of research. So it's not for me to do that. I'm sort of like entertaining, let's put it that way, and fill in gaps. But a lot, oft, often I come across things, like for instance this, I come across a headline or something like that. I didn't really read the whole thing. Um, I was skipping through it. And it's uh, uh, basically uh, um, Uruguay, uh, you know, the South American uh, country that uh, a while ago when, when President uh, uh, Jose Mojito, uh, well, I call him President Jose, you know, the Marxist that was in jail for a long time in the bottom of a well and all of that well stable, whatever it is. And anyway, the, he had a rough time. He was a great president. But what he did, in fact, he was called the poorest president on, in, in, on the planet because he didn't take a lot of stuff. He lived in a, in a very humble way. <clears throat> Let's put it that way. Anyway, um, but what he, uh, 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 what, 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 what happened with him, or what, what happens with him, like he's still alive, um, is, is that uh, uh, because of his perspective, he, he, he made marijuana legal because he really understood they call it part of the drug trade and, and by making it legal, uh, it, it got rid of a lot of corruption, a lot of, a lot of stuff. So it was very, very good. But I just came across a thing where there, there were the bankers uh, were saying that because of the status of marijuana being a drug, whatever it is, that they would not um, it's, um, what is it, it's like it's against um, security, you know, homeland security is against some sort of terrorists or whatever the deal is. And so the banks are, are now are not letting Uruguay have some money or some sort of situation like that, which is kind of interesting because it's, it's absurd. <laughs> I mean, it's not interesting, it's absurd. But that's the way they roll. But what's interesting, when I was thinking about that, I said, you know, these, uh, th this has been going on a long while, and they're trying to really um, uh, get, get to people, uh, um, make sure that they can't do stuff. But I was actually thinking, you know, the United States of North America, when is the last, the United States has not won a war since, if you want to put it that way, since the, the War of 1812. In fact, it's the only war they've ever won. When you think about it, remember the Revolutionary War was not really a war about the United States. It was, a, it was, a, it was, well, it was basically two Britain, Britain fighting, fighting Britain, <laughs> England fighting England. That's what, it, that's what the Revolutionary War was about. The England fighting England to so whoever was going to be. I don't know what they thought that was going to be, but they was basically English. They was a, the, the real America. Uh, it, I guess it was the War of eighteen twelve. That's when you had American. You know, you had a the thing that was America, you know, and the British came and started, you know, the whole bombs bursting in air, blah, 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 blah. But other than that, remember, we never, well, we, America's never won a war. We have conflicts, we had invasions, but not a war. Think about it, just think about it. You know, the Vietnam War wasn't really, well, Vietnam War, well, it's really the North Vietnamese against the South Vietnamese, whatever. But it wasn't like American soil. They were they, they were dealing with in, with with, um, with this communist, you know, North and South. The whole it's all made up. Let's put it that way. So you have a situation where every, the, the Korean conflict that was it's not a war. You know, remember the Korea's over there, America the says over there. It was never war on American soil. We can even be, make that fine distinction, but I don't even want to make that fine distinction. Distinction. I'm trying to say that America has never won a war. Ever. <laughs> Think about that. Never. What this whole Iraq thing or Iran thing or whatever you want to say, well, Iraq. Uh, Iraq, uh, uh, what do you call it, Afghanistan? Well, first of all, why are you there? But that's not even the point. But you've not won that war. When you win a war, you're supposed to now be in control of things and da 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 
It's not that you decimate something and keep on going, keep on decimating, 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 and, and you, no, that's not a war. So basically, it's, 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 it's really uh, uh, corporations, companies using, um, um, uh, let's, let's call it countries or nations, to do their bidding. And, 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 and bankers to do their bidding. I mean, you just think, I'm going to go to the whole Rothschild conspiracy and nothing like that. But remember, remember like the Rothschild set up that whole oil thing, you know, with the, with the Rockefellers and, the, and, the, and what's that, the Rothschilds or whatever, having the Middle East and all that sort of stuff. And now that oil is off the table, they're trying to do it with some other things. Anyway, look, I don't want to keep on going with this stuff. I'm going to say, just remember, this thing is not about wars and nations and stuff like that. Because if it was, then you'd have a, you you you'd have some you'd have something different. We don't have that. Anyway, sorry for this long rant, but this just really upsets me that you would pick on a little country like Uruguay who's doing the right thing, who's dealing with with, with the drug trade or whatever have you, and uh, just for a distraction. This is, and it's 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 it's, it's mind boggling me but that we actually let this happen. We let this happen. So that's that's um, that's the rant anyway. That's that's the rant for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.